It's time for another edition of And the White Guy Show with Bruce Williams, Terry Reed, Harry Swillensack and his orchestra, the Dick Dancer Dancers with special guest Jay Buck Ford. And now, from their high-res studios in La Hermitage, here's Williams and Reed. Hello then. Yes, uh, only only seconds of technical difficulties yes. this time. It's uh, relatively COVID free. And we're on right on time, six thirty. Yes, six thirty. Our broadcast uh, starting up, and we already have two watchers. And of course, uh, that may remain constant throughout. I the broadcast. I think we should just wait until we get three. <laughs> no, no, we're not waiting. We're powering on. And uh, at the beginning of the show, you saw the uh, <coughs> the lady in the Black Hills. Stupid, stupid broad yeah. in the Black Hills. Yeah. Obviously a drunk biker. A biker. Um, One of the Sturgis, <laughs> Sturgis Rally she, bikers. She was a, a biker chick. And, yes. And uh, she went to get a closer picture of the bison. She tried to pet the damn uh, uh, calf. Oh. Yeah. Not a good idea. Not a good idea. Not a good idea. Mommy didn't like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mommy slapped her around and pulled off her pants. Uh, exactly, and you Jeez. should you should never pet another person's puppy. Either. No, no, calf. 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 Uh, yeah, that's what that's they're what called. they call it. Calf. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. And so now, bison calf. Right. These are not buffalo. These are bison. Uh, or as they say in North Dakota, bison. That's right. Bison. The bison. The bison. Yes. Uh, like Joe Bison. Exactly. And his running <laughs> with Kamala. Not Kamala, Kamala Harris. Yes, it's yes. Kamala. 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 Like Looks Pamela. Like Pamela, but it's Kamala. Yeah. 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 Now, there was uh, some, some uh, guy on Tucker Carlson show the other day who was offended mm. that Tucker would not pronounce it Kamala. Oh. And he was offended about uh, that, you know. People are just too easily offended. Yeah. It looks like Kamala to me, and yeah. and that's what it is. And then, last night on the news program I was telling you about, yeah. the guy who was filling in for Lester, or or maybe it was the day before, mm -hmm. he too said Kamala. Okay. Yeah. So is it Kamala? Is it Kamala? Is it Kam Kamala? Kamala. 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 Yeah, Kamala. Well, I, th I think it's Kamala. It's like Pamela, only, only. Yes. Yeah. And her parents were not, were not uh, citizens, but she was born in the USA. Exactly. And when you're born in the USA, you are automatically yeah. a U.S. citizen. Exactly. This is something my people have been trying to change since you white people got here. Yeah. But we haven't been able to. You damn white people. That's right. You. Racist white people, very racist, and extremely. Stop racist. picking on the Indians. Yes, you know? we're Indian sick of it. lives matter. Indian lives matter. That's right. That's right. And Indian commodities matter. Absolutely. Too. And bison calves matter. Yes. So don't be trying to pet a bison calf unless you want a horn right in your calf. That's right. Yeah. Horn will come in and de gene you in a second. De gene you. Yes. <laughs> She was de -gene. That's a new word I've yeah. just made up. Yes. Like like dis... Uh, dis uh, Disemboweled. Dis, no, dis... Uh, dis ingenuous. Disingenuous. Yes, that's a made-up word that some politician made up. And I'm not a politician, even though I'd like to be. Uh, I would I would uh, make up that word. I, I would think, uh, Terry, the Tatanka are doing their part to eradicate stupidity. Yes. Yes. Exactly. Yes. Thank yeah. you, Joe. That that is a, a well, a well spoken line. Very good. Yes. Are okay. we up to five now? Uh, we're up to ten. 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 Yes. This is this thing is like rampant. It's and a wild. Just as we said that, it's up to twelve now. What? So, yeah. There's more. Well, yeah. You All can right. See it right there. Hello to those people. Right there. You add those. I up. see eight, one, and three. That's that comes to twelve. That's twelve. All yeah, right. What is right. the eight? And the there's... eight are likes. The we thumbs got a, up. We got thumbs a 13 now. Like, uh, 13. We got 14. Yes. Yeah. Eight, got and eight and six. 
Damn, this yeah. is amazing. It just, uh, I mean, it just, just snowballs. There's more than a score of people watching us. Yes, a the, score. Yes. How much is a score? Ten. Ten is a score. Ten. Yes. Uh, four score and seven years ago. So that would be 47 years ago. Exactly. Uh huh. And that's only because uh, that was from uh, Lincoln was dyslexic and he couldn't add the tens. Oh. Yes, because oh. you always put the decimal point at the other end. I, I've, I've done that, too. I've done yes. that, too. Yes. Oh, Rebecca May Lawless says, uh, I see 30. All right. Huh. Good for you. Yeah. Well, Your she does, because there's up. 23, uh, I see 28. Amazing. Yeah. Uh, thank you. And thank you, Carla. Uh, that's just amazing. How many viewed last week, the whole uh, the whole count? Uh, just Just over 3 million. Uh, Three million. For last, last Mr. Year. Trump, I think you're lying. <laughs> we have an aerial view of all the people that were watching. And, and, and Mr. it was clustered Mr. in Trump, South Dakota. I'm calling you a damn liar. <laughs> okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. I, I, what I just issued there was uh, confirmational bias. Exactly. That's what I wanted to talk about yes. this week was confirmational bias. Explain the term confirmational bias. Well, you can find anything you want on the internet. Mm -hmm. You can find anything you want, the cure to any problem, the absolute truth about everything is on the internet, but also mm -hmm. the counterpart to that, the negativity uh, response is also on the, on the internet. So you can find negative to every positive that you want. It just depends on how you believe. If you believe that it is, it is negative, then, then you can find it on the internet. Or if you believe in something uh, that you're, you're loyal to, and here's all this information coming in to the contrary, Yes. you can, you can uh, just say, I, I don't believe that. No. And then... And you can find proof of yeah. it on the internet. Right. Which means do not believe everything you hear right. on the internet, see or read on the internet. Like what you're seeing right now, do not believe it. Do not it. believe this. This is not an Indian. I'm not a white guy. We're just merely portraying that. No, yeah. no, that is not the truth. I am an Indian. You are a white guy. Mm -hmm. And you've got this god awful Breck scarf again. <laughs> is that Breck her name? Wall, Breck Wall. Dr. Bre uh, uh, oh, no, Dr. Burks. Burks. Dr. Burks, yes. No, it's not Burks. Yes, is it? it is. Yeah. No, it's. Yeah. yeah, it is Burks. No, it's not. Look Rick. that up. Burks. Yeah, it's not Dr. Burks. Burks. Yeah, no, it's not. It's somebody. yeah, somebody, somebody B type in her name. B I R K S, isn't it? Burks, Dr. Burks. No. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we we're not going to ask you folks because that would be confirmational bias. No, <laughs> someone who actually knows, put in her real name, spell it for us, so we can see uh, that it's it's not really. What's her first name? Uh, uh, Donna. No, uh, it's not Donna. Lolita. <laughs> Lolita. <laughs> Whatever. That is. would be even better. Yeah. Uh, confirmational virus bias virus. <laughs> happens when an individual gives more weight to evidence that confirms their beliefs. Yes. And undervalues evidence that could disprove it. Yes. That's how the. Uh, that's how the. Uh, uh, Burks. B i r k s. Burks. No, that's wrong. That's that's not that's not right. That was Gutsman. It's not and, Brick. That's gu that was Gutsman, and I don't believe a word he says. So. <laughs> <laughs> he's, uh, I have he's to probably agree. got a big fatty going right uh, now. Uh, probably. Oh, I know that crowd. Yeah, yeah I Burks. know that. Burks. Yeah. That's it, yeah. yeah. <laughs> B-I-R-X. There it is. Burks. Yeah. yeah. No, that's not right. It's, no, uh, Rebecca's no, right on. It's Brexit. It's is it's it? Brexit, Doctor Brexit. Trump calls her Brexit. Oh, that's right. Yeah, uh, uh, and you said something about there's a shortage of uh, shortage of of uh, Doctor Pepper. Doctor Pepper. Yes. Yeah. Didn't Trump just yes. appoint uh, him to the uh, task force? No, no, that was Fauci. Oh. Fauci uh, oh. ad added Doctor Pepper to give more <laughs> legitimacy to his to his, his confirmational bias, far out uh, <laughs> predictions. Like we're all gonna die. Oh, three don't, million. Don't go dead. out and don't go to Canada yes. for sure. And wear a mask indoors and out. And Even if you're alone, put your mask on in your car. Exactly. Yes. So yes. that's uh, that's oh, it. Oh man, have I you been masking? Because this thing here is not a good mask. Right. 
this is a terrible mess, but it's this is good backup in case you're around somebody no, who's just no, spewing. Actually, no, actually, that there, I I saw I, it on I the saw news. That, I saw that too. That 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 actually ex- is the worst. The worst. The worst. And, and yeah. expels the uh, 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 yeah the germ. The the droplets. Yeah. It actually the droplets. Uh, yeah. Hit it and then spew out in another direction. Exactly. So yeah. you need to have fourteen layers. Of yeah. that, yeah, on there, and then it just you just and clings to your face, and yeah. you will you will Suffocate. die Suffocate. of your own carbon dioxide. There you go. Yeah. Yes, and uh, you know if I if I stretch my neck out and stuff, the droplets in between the folds of my neck also shoot out. Yes. into somebody's yeah. face. You so. should you should take your scarf off because you, you, then you'd look like Connell. Who? Mitch Connell. Hey. Mitch McConnell. McConnell. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, there he is. Yeah, because don't you think he looks like a turkey? Yeah, oh, yeah. Mitch, he Mitch looks, looks like a turkey. A turkey. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's what he says. Yeah. Whenever Pelosi says something, McConnell goes. Yeah, Pelosi. <laughs> Pelosi. <laughs> Pelosi looks like. Should have been some laughter there. <laughs> Pelosi looks like a turkey vulture. Yeah. You know. Yeah, and, and she's got her teeth. They're not. They don't quite go together. And 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 Mitch looks like a turkey, so they they really could. Uh, the vulture and they the should turkey get together. Turkey. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh right. yes. And yeah. the, the laughter's right Ooh. on. <laughs> <laughs> Sharon's right on it. Oh, Very yeah. well. Yeah. How many and, do we have now? Do we have forty? Uh, we've got 50, 70, 70, 70, Oh, nearly eight, ninety. Seventy-eight. Nearly ninety. Yeah. See, Wait. Trump would say ninety if there's seventy-eight. Trump mm-hmm. would say ninety. Well. Yeah, it's sort of in the ballpark. Yeah, you know. and 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 Kamala would say. <laughs> <laughs> and we want to wish all the folks uh, uh, healthy and happy. Uh, uh, they just had a healthy and happy uh, motorcycle rally out in the Black Hills, and uh, so far news coming in. There's nobody like saying, "Oh my gosh, the outbreak." Following the uh, biker. Oh, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. You think so? Oh, yeah. Fuji predicted this. There'll be at least 250,000 people dead at the Sturgis rally because you just can't put that many people. It's not from COVID, though. It's it's from trichomosis and uh, syphilis. Syphilis. Yes. Yeah. So, you know, you can't put that many people together and (coughs) and for them all to be. You okay? No, my Fuji voice is killing me. (laughs) Shouldn't do your Fuji voice too, too long. Mm. Okay, I'm going to ask you. I'm going to ask you three questions. Okay, I'm going to ask you three questions, and you have to answer as fast as you can, very well, without thinking about it. All right, don't think about it. Don't think okay. about it. All right. Uh, back in the '80s and stuff, we went to the Chicago airport and we saw a famous person, Muhammad in, Ali. What was Spike Lee's first film? She's got to have it. And the uh, uh, creature with the fastest Pick heart. Pygmy shrew. I can't believe you know all that. That, oh, yeah. is, that is just incredible. Yes. Well, wow. I know I'm everything. Im- I'm impressed. I know everything. I'm impressed. Yeah. And now we'd like to show you a picture of a gentleman who lost his wife recently and then had her uh, wax-ized. It's not him. It's a picture of his wife. It's a picture of his wife. Yes, but yes, the he had his wife waxed his wife, and he yeah. had her waxized, waxized, yes. and put on the uh, veranda. I had my back of, waxed one time. You ever had that? <laughs> no, I don't have son that. of a bitch. I don't, I don't have Just, any hair oh, back there. Yeah, you know. Yeah, and yeah. I had uh, I had my my butt uh, waxed. No. Yes, I have enough hair back there to braid an Indian blanket, but oh, I uh, wow, I had it waxed. Wow. Well, this this guy had his uh, wife uh, her effigy of her, and it boy, you can see it looks very. It lifelike. looks very lifelike, mm-hmm. and that would scare the hell out of me. Yeah, and I would not be there. And this is is that would that she be of Asian descent? The yes, without she would. my glasses, I can't see. Yeah, it would without be. without uh, profiling or. Mm-hmm. Racism, mm-hmm. uh, she looks very yeah. hin- Hinduish to me. Yeah. Gupta. Gupta. Oh, Gupta. That's a, yeah. that's a very, that's like Smith over in yeah. India. 
That's the young yeah. Gupta boy got beat today in the amateur. Uh, oh, he did? Yes. Oh, in the golf tournament? Uh, yeah, out, yeah. There, out, uh, out of Bandon Dunes. Uh, uh, Bandon Dunes uh, in yes. Oregon, the yes. great state of Oregon. Yes, and anyway, Gupta is okay. gone. All right. He's out. You can take, uh, take the... <laughs> yes, that was a little horrifying. Mm-hmm. Don't need to worry about that anymore. And now uh, we are going to show... Um, I did a little interview with uh, Tennessee Ernie Ford's son, Jay Buck Ford. Well, mm -hmm. you know Tennessee Ernie's son. Yes. And yes, his name is Jay Buck Ford. Mm -hmm. And uh, what are some of the big hits that Tennessee Ernie had? Well, uh, we just saw on uh, on Facebook uh, these two two young bucks that uh, they call themselves the Trend Twins. And they review music and stuff. They're real young black guys, and they and they're. You're not answering the question. Okay. You're like you're like Jared Kushner. Okay. On Face the Nation. All right. I ask you the question: What are some of Tennessee Ernie's big hits? Well, he had uh, sixteen tons, which was probably tons. his biggest hit. Yes. And then he's got other uh, gospel hits, mm -hmm. uh, such as uh, "How Great Thou Art." Yes. He did, he did a version of that that's classic. There is. Uh, I I cannot think of uh, some of his other tunes but uh you'll see from the interview had some big hits big hits can you think of any no okay but but you'll see during the interview had one about a uh, tennessee girl who was crazy goofy for him followed him around um uh, 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 you should call buck and see what the name of that tune was well, uh, we could probably, we're going to do this in segments, so next week we're going to have him on again, and we'll probably uh, ask, oh, all right. ask Well, then let's roll, Buck. We are here with uh, world-famous uh, voiceover <laughs> artist, actor, uh, financier. Uh, Thank uh, you for mentioning that. And, My clients and out there. And all-around bon vivant. You know who you are. Uh, Mr. J. Buck Ford, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure to be here. This is wonderful to be on the show. This is a sought-after um, interview that we've been uh, toying around with for up to six months. Yes. Now, and uh, it's hard to find a time when you aren't so busy because you are swamped. I am lucky, is what I am. Yeah. To be working today. Right. I am blessed to be working. I'm I'm and I'm extremely thankful. My my children are all safe and healthy and uh employed. Uh and uh, you know, uh God bless everyone out there that's trying to make this moment in our history work for people. Because there are a lot of unsung folks out there who are literally burning every bridge to make life better and consistent for all of us and man. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I'm lucky. And yes. Lucky, we, we, lucky to be We working. are blessed. We, we are blessed to have uh, the uh, the wherewithal to to do things like this, yeah. you know. Yeah. I mean, this is this has forced us back inside to learn, and I'm specifically looking at Sharon. Our, and I, I keep looking at Sharon Williams, who yeah. really runs the entire boat here. Yeah. And um, you, uh, you can are cut so to blessed. a shot of you now. What I think we should. Can you uh, mm -hmm. you can cut. Can we do that? I think you can cut to a, to a can shot we? of you. Can we do that, oh, that ladies and gentlemen? There, there you are. There she is. She has no green she screen. No, green screen. no but and that's there. that, ladies and gentlemen, is the one of those is the bathroom door. <laughs> no, they're that both. Sharon has been trying to keep <laughs> hidden for what? <laughs> they're both closets. They're both closets. Yeah. Now, I came out of one of those. Oh, earlier. Oh, well, thank you for sharing. But boom. Uh, <laughs> for those of you uh, that just tuned in. Um, J. Buck <clears throat> Ford is the son, the scion. Whoa, that's of, a twelve dollar mm -hmm. word. I'm gonna note that. Down. Of Tennessee Ernie Ford. Yeah. Yes, yes, Tennessee Ernie Ford, and we've got we've got applause. Okay. Oh, good. Yes. <laughs> and uh, of course, legendary, legendary status, and you are. Um, 
you have taken up the reins of uh, passing on his legacy to the rest of the world. Um, well, uh, yes and no. The real uh, driver of and holder of those reins is uh, my partner in life, Murphy and Ford. Um, we were blessed to have been married for uh, 35 years and uh, raised four wonderful children. And uh, Murphy uh, became the manager of Tennessee Ernie Ford Enterprises back in 2008. Mm -hmm. And I take care of the creative, and uh, Murphy drives the, the machine. Uh, she is responsible every day for conducting the, the business, which, th again, thank God, still exists there are still uh, there are still legions of folks who not only remember dad but who have remained rabid steadfast fans uh, in Europe they are uncontainable there are fans in Europe who can tell you the color of socks he was wearing <laughs> on the Blackberry <laughs> boogie session in 53 uh, and you can hear, you when you listen to the track, you can hear Speedy West drop his pick on the steel, and you can hear him pick it up and say something. They know everything. Um, can I ask you, can I ask you, um, you, you hit on something there that I've been wondering about. I mean, Tennessee... And uh, let me just say, it's a, without Murphy Ford, and I want to make sure that I place that credit... What, Murphy has been the salvation of, and continuation of Dad's legacy, and I want to make sure that I give her the credit she deserves. And everyone knows his persona, uh, larger than life, um, deep, deep voice, and people are familiar with his gospel roots and uh, his gospel music. And but the one thing that you that you just hit on was something that I was not aware of going into um, researching Tennessee Ernie Ford, was his period of uh, boogie-woogie music songs that were such a huge success early on before he um, hit the there, stratosphere. There was, a, um, there was a moment, a musical moment in time, when the musicianship and culture of the day that so heavily infected his band created a synthesis of music that Dad, Speedy West, Billy Liebert, Billy Strange, Cliffy Stone, uh, Charlie Parlato, and some of the greatest Capitol Records session musicians of the day began doing country tracks with a five or six piece rhythm section tuned out like a Tommy Dorsey big band. And they were able to back dad's simple boogie original songs with a complexity, musical complexity, and a sophistication of sound that had never been heard before. I've just recently seen on Facebook uh, the two young, uh, young bucks that are... Uh, the Trend Twins. The Trend Twins. Mm -hmm. And they listened to a version of... Uh, 16, 16 tons. 16 tons. And went nuts. And went crazy for yeah, it. They because did. Because of the story. You know, this song tells a story. And uh, if you haven't seen it, ladies and gentlemen, tune in to uh, Facebook and go to the Trend Twins and check out. Uh, or you can go yeah. to my page, uh, uh, or, or you can go to the, the official Tennessee Ernie Ford Facebook or okay. Instagram page and see the clip there. It is phenomenal. These two, these two kids are adorable. They, they are incredible. And what they have done for the music business, the classic records, mm -hmm. uh, in the past month mm -hmm. has been seismic 
Phil Collins has sold more records than than he ever did when he was alive. Two guys sitting. <laughs> he's, he's oh yeah, alive. he's still alive. Okay. okay. <laughs> and that's the uh, that's the first installment of Two Foos on a Futon uh, with uh, Buck Ford, and we'll have him on uh, next week as well because the interview went on much longer than that and we've cut it up into segments and stuff so and uh right now we're going to uh, cold call cold call we're going to cold call somebody very well uh either we're going to call either going to call jim gutsman or mark graham or buddy big mountain and well see if they answer see if any of them see if any of them answer, answer. They, they, yes. they might not no uh, I, I have given them no warning. There, there's no warning um, with a cold. This is a cold face call. And so I'm going to pick Mark Graham. Have you FaceTime Mark before? Yes. I think we FaceTime the Okay, he's not there. <laughs> no. Okay. He's busy burying someone. Oh yes, he is. Uh, he is an <laughs> undertaker. So, yes, funeral director. Uh, funeral director. Uh, yeah. um, undertaker is so gauche. It really is. It's racist. It, it is. <laughs> it is racist. Sorry, sorry that I used that, Mark. Yeah. Okay, I'm going with Jim Gutsman. That's and... two white guys when they had one Indian on there. Okay. And you call right. two white guys now. All right. Before I'll, I'll calling, call, I'll call Buddy Big Mouth. All right. Well, Buddy um, ain't going to answer now because he's offended. Well, I... And I, you're a racist. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You don't even have Buddy Big Mountain's number. I have his number, and I don't have his number. There you go. Okay. So that means Dutchman. means Dutchman. All right. <coughs> and here we go with Gutsman. And it is a video. Boy, this show is moving right along. Yeah. I think he holds it the other way with that. What? This way? Hold it the other way. This way? Yeah, this way. Hi, Jim. Hey. Hey. You were uh you were our third choice. Uh <laughs> I saw it. I saw it. Yeah. And I told him not to call you. Yeah. He, he, he accused me of being a racist because I called a white guy first and then I was going to call you second. And he said, right. he said, you're a racist because you're calling two white guys in a row without giving in, giving Look Indian at the hearts. What do the hearts mean? That means they love him. They love him. They love they you, love Jim. You. Jim. Jim, the, the hearts are just flying. They're flying out of this screen. Flying out of a monkey's butt oh, right it's, there. Yeah. It's like uh, Valentine's Day. Yeah. Oh, there's goodness. just, and then there's a couple of one fingers. What are those? Yeah. I, that no, that's good. thumbs up. That's okay. Thumbs up. Oh, yeah. thumbs up. Yeah. All right. Yeah. That's, uh, they, they like him. Very well. Yeah. Carry on. Well, wow. you know, I just want to say, I don't know if you can see it. I'm going to show you this, but Terry, I wore this Dakota shirt for you. Oh, nice. Dakota Sports That's and Fitness. Dakota, yes. Dakota. That's what that is. Yes. Very That's nice. Because there's, there's two kinds of... Bring some, there's two kinds of Sioux Indians. That, yes. Yes. There's but Dakota now, and those bring, that wish they were Dakota. Yeah. Would you shut up and let him talk? Right. Because he's trying to get something in. Okay. <laughs> you know, that's why... Terry, you always want to rehearse with Bruce because you're never confident that he's going to say what he's supposed to. He never has said what he's supposed to. In 52 <laughs> years, he's never had said what he was supposed to say. Or said anything appropriate. That's right. Well, and this is what I wanted to bring up. Uh, you fellas really got to check when you have your guests on to make sure your mics are off. Because yeah. last week when I was on... Uh, Terry, I heard you say, oh, God, he's dying worse than he did the time before. Oh, God. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I've looked up to you for years, and to hear that, uh, I went to my mom's grave. Yeah. 
<laughs> the mic was hot. I'm, the mic was hot. Uh, Everybody heard it. I'm going to apologize. If I uh, said that, I do apologize. Well, and then right after that, Terry, you look, you said to Bruce, he looks sick. Well, what do you say that about a guy for? I feel great. No, you look sick. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you need to... You need to spend more time on that boat because you have no color. Jeez. No, no. The, the color has gone out of me, and uh, uh, frankly, I'm, I'm going to start eating more prunes. There. See if I can get everything out of me. Oh, yes, yes. Because we're not all shriveled yet, enough yet. We should all eat shriveled up raisins. <laughs> well, you, sir, are not shriveled up. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be a while before that shrivel takes. you got, you got a minute or two. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Touche. You know, we got a new investment opportunity up here. And, you know, Ree, I know how you like to ride these things out. Uh, Bruce is a little bit uh, little skittish on this sort of thing. But uh, you know how when you're out there and you never know when people are bullshitting you. You know, you can't tell. They can say anything they want. They can say it about Biden, Trump, anybody. And you don't, you can't discern truth from fiction anymore. Well, we've come up with a thing called the Schmeter app. A Schmeter app. Schmeter. That's right. It's a Schmeter app. And it goes right on your phone. And while people are giving you information, you point your phone, point your, point your phone at them. And if it's misinformation, this foul odor comes out and lets them immediately know bullshit. Oh, that's a brilliant, brilliant. I, no. I'm in. Part I'm two, in. Terry, part two, hold on to your, your feathers on this one because you can take that person's finger, put it on your phone, and it will actually uh, tell him the amount of bile in his system and you can know if he's toxic or not. Toxic. Toxicity right there, you know, live. I mean, where are we going to go from here? Plus you've got a usable fingerprint. Well, yes, that's true. He's you dying know, worse than he did the last time. <laughs> Yeah, I haven't hit a home run yet, Terry. And when I do, you'll be the last person I call. Yeah, I, I, I like it, and count me in. <laughs> yeah. You're in. Let me give All you right. my, let me give you my investor's number. Uh, Madoff is his name. Let me give you his number. Uh, <laughs> Done a lot of business with Bernie. Yeah, yeah. Hard to get him to call you back now. <laughs> He'll call you on Thursday. Yeah, he gets Thursday, one call on Thursday. Thursday. Right after the shower. Oh, yes. God. Are you doing well, any gigs, Jim? You know, no, we're, we're not because of the COVID thing. Uh, there's some possible outdoor work in Minnesota here a little bit. But our lead uh, vocalist just had a baby here a couple months ago. Oh. So we're the next thing we have booked as far as the musical appearance is December. Oh, okay. So we'll, we'll because of the baby? Yeah, she, you know, because she's being very careful. You know, she doesn't want to go in any crowds. She's kind of trying to stay in her bubble as much as she can. You know, mm -hmm. she's got a, she works, but she works from home, so... <clears throat> yeah. So that's what's going on. And we'll, what's we'll, the we'll baby's be. name? Alexander. Alexander. Ooh. Yes. That's yes. a very powerful name. Yes. It's a very powerful name. Well, they'll they'll very. probably shorten it to Alex. Or A. Or, or Ragtime. Or Ragtime. Or Crawling Gear. Alexander's <laughs> Ragtime Band. Yes. There you go. That's, that's a stretch. That's what I mean. It Bruce, is. that's what I'm saying. Terry's a couple, two, three minutes ahead of this. Absolutely. Thing. He is. Absolutely. He is. You Thank you for sharing. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, though? Can we get serious for a second? Guys? <coughs> yeah, sure. All right. Right. I've been working with the University of Minnesota, some people up there, and we're, we're worried about all this violence that's going on. Yeah. And uh, some of the early indications are really leaning towards portion control. <laughs> You say to yourself, why portion control? Well, people are overeating. They're uncomfortable, and they're taking it out on their neighbors. Now, you see it all the time on the, on the ads. You know, buy one, get two free. Well, let's not tempt these people with overeating and uncomfortableness. And it, and it causes depression. And I truly think this may be the answer to world peace. We've, we've, got, to, we've got to get this, this under. And I'd like to have you guys sign up for this. Uh, the organization that I'm the spokesman for is Zip It. Zip It. Zip it. Zip it, mm -hmm. yes. Let's starve yep. the world and everyone will get along. That's an excellent plan. Well, no, not a minute. Is, is your name Kamala? 
get your cup, comrade. Get in line. <laughs> The last thing, the last thing, and, and I know, Bruce, I think you and Terry are both going to appreciate this, but we got four towns in southern Minnesota represented, just in case there's any violence, 1,500 seniors have actually dedicated themselves, and we're calling them senior seals. Now, most of these seals are on walkers, but I'll tell you what, you got 1,500 people clicking them babies coming at you, and they got paintball guns. And they're filled with absorbing junior. Ooh. So when they get you, oh, you get a welt that stings for two days. Oh yeah. <laughs> you, you get that in your eyes and even milk oh. won't help. Oh, oh. Yeah. yeah. Let's send them out to Portland. Let's get them out to Portland. You, they, 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 they they take no prisoners. Yeah. yeah, they're going out to Portland. They're on their way now. Yeah. They'll be there, uh, they'll be there in what was it was it uh, two thousand it'll be two thousand twenty two. Yeah. <laughs> No, just in time. Don't be in full force. Just in time. Well, they'll still be rioting in Portland because that's the rioting capital of the world. No, you can't have more fun than that up there. No. You. <laughs> you know, they ought to all go to that donut place. Yeah, voodoo donuts. Yeah. Voodoo donuts. And then oh, they wouldn't yeah. feel like rioting. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get them old people out to that donut shop, get some coffee in them, get some donuts. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And then... And then portion control, loose. portion control. Absolutely. Yeah. Zip one it, donut per what... person. Yes. You were our third one call, donut. Jim, but but you're still number one with us. Well, sure appreciate that. And you guys are you always been a part of my heart. Well, God, I know, I just get God bless you, up. Jimmy. You love you. <laughs> love you. Give our best to Patty. Third on the I roster, will. but number one in the heart. Exactly. You take take care of one another for God's sake. All right. We'll do Over and out. Bye. <laughs> And be safe, because we're, we're all going to get through this. Yeah. <laughs> that concludes our show. Uh, and we'd like to say buy our stuff, buy our CDs, buy our DVDs, um, because DVDs are the way of uh, Dr. Pepper. There's, there's going to be a shortage. There will be a shortage, day. because yeah. I predict the new, the new mm -hmm. things will be smaller than DVDs. Okay. And yeah. they'll, they'll be tiny little... BVDs. BVDs. Tiny BVDs that yes. you could uh, <laughs> stick in your crack and yes. and forget about it. That's right. Yeah. And uh, <clears throat> also, we, uh, we encourage all of you to uh, support live music. If you have the chance, uh, let's get some... Let's get some musicians and entertainers working out there. Let's get this thing started. Let's get this ball rolling. And let's keep uh, the laughter and music coming to the nation. Because There's hundreds of people watching. It. Yes. Almost 300. Mm -hmm. There's something there. Almost 3 million <laughs> have tuned us in. Yes. Thank, Thank you so much for tuning us in, each and every one of you. If we could, we'd come to your house and make you a small salad. 3.5 million, I just estimated the crowd. Okay. Goodbye. And the white guy show. I'm telling you, if white guys could get paid every time that they are on social media, this guy would get $12 a month for life. <laughs>